horns really work. But um, before we do that, let's say I were in the wilderness and I was lost and I was trying to find my way back and I was out of water uh, and I spot somebody on the horizon and I wanted to call out to them with the greatest probability that they could hear me. Would I call out in a higher pitched, lower pitched, or whatever my typical voice happened to be, assuming that I'm going to call out at the greatest intensity in either case? Which sound frequency is going to travel furthest and or have the greatest likelihood of reaching somebody's ears and having them perceive it? You partly answered your question because sound intensity is the key. Uh, and as humans, we can produce only sounds of certain frequencies. Uh, and throughout history, people have used horns. Horns really work. And so that, that would be the first thing that you do. And you can even create it like this your, yourself. Okay, put to, your hands on either side of your mouth. Exactly, to project. But if you have a longer horn, use that. So then all you have to do when you're in a situation like that is speak as loudly as you can. And if you can, find a horn so that it amplifies. And if you don't have a horn, put your hand on either side of your mouth, yes. which we do intuitively. And if we need to hear something at a distance, we put our hand to our ear exactly. in order to create a temporarily larger ear. And that works too.